Hi guys, welcome back to another video with Zelda React. Today I'll be reacting to another gold today. Loyalty test. This one is relationship based. Yeah, uh, UDY U D Y doesn't make it like relationship based loyalty test like gold. So you're going to get loyalty test or just a loyalty test. So hopefully guys you know we'll come across a loyal one and you know respectfully and yeah guys if you enjoy these type of videos please subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a notification when i upload guys i have a music channel i'll leave the link in the description please check it out um yeah for those that are new to my channel welcome for those that have since subscribed to my channel i just want to say thank you for you know the support and i hope we all enjoy this video let's get into it because you know i'm excited to see what goes on let's get into it did, did they pull in already yep they just pulled in he just got out the car okay perfect you guys are in position you guys are nice and hiding yep yep we are uh, ducked off on the side there he is there he is we see him allow me to reintroduce you to the homie xavier as some of you remember we filmed a video with him where he was ready to simp over a girl well ladies and gentlemen according to him his simping days are over you see after the release of that video xavier was getting a lot of love and he came to the realization that there was no need to simp women want him okay i'm good all right, copy that. We are moving into position. Over. Oh, damn, you really parked all illegally, bro. What the hell? Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, I gotta make it look realistic. With his newfound confidence, Xavier jumped on dating apps and eventually matched with his girlfriend. We'll just call her Yuli. All right, Elias, we are in position. Over. Mm. I'll go find the video. I'm not sure whether I reacted to that video of his, where he tested his partner, but... If you guys want me to go find it and react to it, just comment down below, share your thoughts in the comments, guys, don't forget. You want me to send in Tim? Yeah, let's go ahead and send Tim in. Over. Having seen our videos, though, and with the state of this dating world, Xavier wanted to make sure that Yuli was loyal. It's your boy Antonio back. We're back with the Riz, ladies and gentlemen. Xavier told Yuli that he was here to pick up his laptop from his friend's apartment, illegally parking his car in the process. It is go time. All right, here goes Tim. What's happen? Our buddy Tim was pretending to be parking enforcement. The plan was for him to issue a ticket. Looks believable. Looks pretty good, yeah, right? Looks good, yeah. Looks good. <laughs> oh, hi. Okay, but you can't park here. Oh, she's talking to him. You know that, right? There's, it's red. It just says no parking. It's all red. Clearly, they're in English. When the time is right, Antonio will step in and proceed to making his move on Yuli. Will she give him her number and agree to go on a date with him? Or will she remain loyal to Xavier? I hope you guys have your talk this because you guys already know. There comes a time in every creator's life when they say, I've got to It's so confusing the way they started, like they didn't really explain from the get-go. Hopefully, we understand what's going on soon. I'll do anything to give her a ticket. <laughs> Hopefully we get one good one. We just need one good one, y'all. Just one. Do you have a permit? Oh, she's oh, yeah, getting she up the car. Yeah, Before sending in Antonio, we wanted Yuli to have a feeling of desperation. He just went to pick up something real quick. He's gonna be back short. Well, how, can you call him? Does he have a phone? Yeah. Let okay. Me, let me call, let me call him. Okay, yeah, go ahead, call him. And do you, uh, you say, do you have a permit? Uh, no, it's, you don't have a permit that looks like this? Oh, you said we got the parking, the parking permit. Pass? Yeah, for this area, because all the Karens, they want people to have permits so they know who lives here and who doesn't. Oh, damn, all these residents are probably like, tripping out like, wait, what the hell? They're really getting a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> one second, I'll okay, but I, I already started writing, so I can't stop. And actually, you know, he told me, you want me to leave the game? And I was like, he's actually a good actor. He's doing well so far. Mm. No, because I can't listen to Chili. Oh, she's calling. She's calling. She's calling you? Yeah. All right, I'm just going to ignore it. She's calling him, Antonio. I think you should go ahead and go in now. Gotcha. Go. Go time. Go time, Antonio. He's not picking up. Well, how about texting or... Because I was here in the car. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. At least you try to call me, right? That's pretty cool. Having made the scenario as realistic as possible, Antonio was free to make his move. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, that's what they all say, right? That's what they all say. They'll be here in just a we'll moment. Right it's my first time, I swear. Hey, y'all all right? Are you trying to give a Bro, I park here all the time. I live in these apartments over here. Well, a lot of people park here. How long have you been here so far? Just a few minutes. Just a couple minutes. She ain't even been here that long. Give her 10 more. 10, she's I've been seen here you around for, here before. We've already been here for five I've minutes running her up. Most people park here most of the time. So it's like a quick little run here. Most people park here all the time. It's not like abnormal mm. to park here. You like a 
good man. You like you good people. Come on, give it 10 minutes. You like you good people. I can't I can't okay. let her park here any longer. Okay, like, so do this. If do I don't this leave me. a ticket, I'll leave. Do don't give it a ticket. I got something for you. I got something for you. I know these tickets oh, not that much. Yeah, yeah, these tickets not, usually not that much. I'm not allowed to take bribes. Come on, right? these tickets I'm usually not allowed Okay, you're not convinced. I'm not. I didn't convince you. Okay, let me convince you. Hold on, let me add let me throw a little extra. Okay, I'll take donations. I'll take donations. Come on, my guy. If My I, God! I'm gonna take like a 10, lap around. Like minutes. I'm gonna say no to money, and nobody. You take that bribe. Hold on, I'm not checking this up right now. Let's just go with the flow here. Take a lap around the block. If it's still here. Take two laps. Can you okay. give me two laps? Give me two all laps. Right, That'll be like 10, 15 laps. minutes. All right, all right. Two laps. <laughs> My God. Everybody always park here. They always so give people tickets that. here. I'm sorry you had to experience that, it's Antonio. I, I know it's not necessary, but you got it's good people in the world still. You know, it's still some good people out here. I hear accent. Where are you from? Brazil. Brazil. I've never been. I've always wanted to go to Brazil. So how long you been here? Uh, for almost a year. I can tell you've been here not that long because you didn't know not to park. No, but what I want to know, I didn't want to jump the gun, but what I want to know, how will we impress her? Because you know, it's just. It's just looking normal, unless that's like an expensive area where you know one of the stripper lives. But he's he's dressed down. Maybe he had like a Lambo somewhere standing, waiting for him to get into to impress her or something. I don't see how. This way. In this spot, in LA, anytime you see red, do not. Park. I'm telling you, don't park there. I can see that. <laughs> it's not my fault, actually. My guy just went to pick up something. Right? Oh, okay, okay. Your guy, your guy, okay, okay. Okay, that's cool. I'm not originally from here either. I'm uh, originally from Miami, but I live in oh, California okay. now. So you got to speak Spanish. You got to speak a little bit of Spanish then, if you're there. Portuguese. Portuguese. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, I don't messed up. So yeah. look, this is what we're going to do. I'm happy I was able to look out for you, but we got to connect. You know, I know you knew you seem like you're good people. You got good energy. I love the energy you feel. Uh, Oh, let's lock in. Hold on. Can I get your number? You just connect, just, just like talk it up. And I can teach you how not to park in the red. Okay. <laughs> That's cool with you? Good. <laughs> All right, that go ahead. I mean, if, if I were in that situation, I'd be like, listen, I'm waiting for my boyfriend to come out. You know, I'm waiting for my partner to come out. So, you know, I can't give you my number because, you know, I don't, we don't, we can't connect on that level. Unless you, you know, asking somebody socials, that's innocent, you know. If someone asks, oh, give me your Instagram. Because you have a choice to either answer that, or like, um, if the person DMs you, you have an option to respond. And you have an option not to respond. So, I feel like, you know, socials, I'll be like, oh, yeah, you know. Instagram, you know, you can, you know, catch me there or stuff like that. Just connect, but not my number when I'm in a relationship. But if you guys, maybe, you know, maybe it's innocent, you know. What is this? I don't know. I don't know how wrong this is. Like. Really generous of you, actually. You really need to do that. Thank you so much. Like I said, I've been through it before. I don't want to see a beautiful girl out here just chilling. You know, you are beautiful. Yeah. So <laughs> go ahead and lock that in for okay. me. And we can go ahead and type in. She really gave him the number. There you go. And uh, might be a fake one though. Let's, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. It's a pleasure meeting you. Make sure you lock me in. I'm gonna text you. Okay. Get out of this red too. <laughs> I'll see you later. It's a little disappointing, you know. I mean, she was, she was. You know, I like the way he did it, the acting, the way he went about it. That was smooth, like. I'm being a little friendly, she gave him the number, you know. Uh, I felt like she just gave him her number just to like, as a thank you. Yeah, just like a little courtesy, you know, right. so hopefully nothing comes about it, you know. I don't know if she'll be okay with me doing that, you know, and, and the fact that she's doing, hopefully it's the wrong number. We still got to give her the benefit of the doubt, you know, see how things go. But you're right though. Would she be okay with you doing that? She told me she's she's a very jealous woman, so okay. she already told no girlfriends. But okay. uh, I hope she passes this test. I hope that's a fake number. And this is all done with. You yeah, know, I don't have to see you again. <laughs> you that's know? true. That's uh, true. So I'm I'm hoping this is it right here, honestly. And uh, I feel it. Well, let's take you back before she starts getting suspicious. Yeah, yeah. I think it's always best if your significant other refrains from handing out their number to people that sound interested in getting to know them. Even if they're just being friendly, opening up communication like that can be a gateway to infidelity. Let me get the the backpack so she thinks I really grabbed something. Yeah, <laughs> let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got your right. Cool. Yeah. Unless what he said, maybe it's just you know, as a thank you. I don't want to, you know, to just help me, just bribe someone for me. So, you know, the least I can do is give you my number, and you know, 
it's it's fine to like if I gave my number to that person and they say, Hey, how are you? I'm like, I'm good. How are you? Like, I'm good. Yeah, like conversations, but not a conversation that would lead to like something more, you know, something like you know, intimacy and stuff like that. I feel like you know, sometimes you have to give the benefit of the doubt, you know. Yeah, I agree with him. Yeah, there it is. All right, so we'll be in touch then, right? Yeah, we'll be in okay. touch. Now, let's be real here. We did place Yuli in a situation where she was almost compelled to give Antonio her number. So let's pray that she only did so out of gratitude. The only piece that did stand out to me was that she referred to Xavier as her guy rather than her boyfriend. I mean, girls call their boyfriends different things, right? And being that she's a foreigner, it might have just been a language barrier thing. Y'all need a ride? <laughs> we need one, I guess. <laughs> it's still uncertain if Yuli will remain loyal, but one thing we did know was that she did not give Antonio as I'm in the midst of applying for residency right now which guys please I just want to say please don't skip my ads please guys I have to skip his because it's a reaction it will be too many ads like you know I wouldn't normally skip because I like supporting other channels but please don't skip my ads and yeah thank you for the support Hopefully she is. I hope she does it. <laughs> Antonio had been in communication with Yuli and for the most part it was all very cordial. She kept saying she was busy whenever Antonio would ask her to hang out but she never completely blew him off. In fact she told him to hit her up on a Thursday as that was her most free day. Hello? Hey what's up beautiful how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. I know we've been texting for a couple of days, so I was like, you know what? Let me just pick up the phone, give you a call real quick, so I can hear your voice. But also, I want to call you and see if um, what you're doing later on tonight. I actually work tonight. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go grab something to eat real quick before you go uh, to work. Um. Did you eat yet? No, I actually haven't. Well, see, you got this call at the perfect time, then. Let's go grab some food there real quick. What's your favorite spot? Like, what you trying? What you want to eat? You want some expensive stuff? Where are you trying to go? No. No, no, no. Let's do something casual because I don't want to like dress up or anything. Let's just, can we do like something casual? Yeah, that's cool. I know uh, we can go like by Panera Bread. That's not too far from my spot. So uh, we can go by there, grab something quick, real quick. We ain't got to do nothing too crazy. Bread? Yeah, Panera. What's that? What? You ain't never been Panera? Oh, yeah. That's where we're going. Don't even, don't even ask no more questions. Just get ready. Just throw on something real, you know, real casual. I'll be over there to get you in a little bit. That work for you? That works perfect. All right, cool. So I'll be there by the hour too. Send me your uh, address. Okay. All right, beautiful. Maybe if the boyfriend can call her and be like, hey, I was thinking, okay, maybe it will look like it will be too suspicious if the guy would call. But I feel like a guy and a girl can be friends. You know, you find those that can be best friends with men. There's nothing wrong with that. So I still don't see anything wrong with it. Unless the boyfriend, like, she tells him about, hey, I just met this person. They helped us out. Did she mention that? No. The thing is, the question is, did she mention the whole scenario where this guy bribed? If she didn't, then that's sus. Later. I don't know about you guys, but I would not like my girlfriend having lunch with a man who is clearly into her. Well, I'm three minutes, four minutes for picking her up now. Okay, sounds good. Just text me when you get her then. Okay, we will do. Okay, cool. We're on our way already, too. While Antonio made his way to pick up Yuli, we made our way to Panera Bread. Just keep an eye out for the parking lot if you see them. Honestly, dude, I think it's going to take him like 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah, she lives pretty far from this location. Yeah. So you were trying to be a passport, bro. I was trying. I was trying to get dual citizenship, you know? <laughs> trying to be in Brazil and here. I'm low-key tempted to go into the drive-thru and get something. You gonna take that long? What do you think? Are you hungry? Uh, not really. <laughs> After waiting for quite some time, our patience eventually paid off. We're on the other side of these cars. <gasps> there they are, there they are, there they are. Elias, come in. Over. Go ahead. What do you think about going in there and getting something? Yeah, I can do that. How close should I sit? Right up on their asses. That's why he's feeling left, left out. He wants to know if he can come in with me. You can take him in there with you. With the second half of our team getting closer coverage, phase two was in full swing. Oh, there they are. Oh, here we go. Come on, camera, focus, bitch. There really wasn't anything that we were listening out for. We just wanted Antonio to get more acquainted with Yuli. Let me swing around, try to get another angle. There's a, there's a spot right there in front. I don't want to go too close, though. I mean, they don't know your car, so. Sure. And your windows are tinted. This was supposed to be a very simple phase, but as you guys will see, things got very interesting very quickly. We're in a whole relationship. Come out here with another dude. Yeah, she, she's just mad. It's crazy. Oh, food's ready. <laughs> she's by herself. Should I, should I send her a text, ask what she's doing? Try calling her. Let's call her, yeah, try calling her. Let me just give her a shot. Cause he's not there, let's see if she answers. Yeah, that's good, this is good. Oh, 
Oh, she's getting the car. Oh, she's getting the car. She's checking her phone. Oh, but Antonio's coming back. She answers. Oh, she's she gonna answer. Oh, <laughs> She put her phone away. She's not answering. Guys, what do you think of that? I feel like that says he's literally watching his girl ignore him, and that's why I said, because if you ain't doing something, sus, then you should be answering that call by the girl. You can't be declined. She, oh, she didn't decline it, which is good, but she didn't answer, which is the same thing, I bet. But you can't be doing that. That's not fair. He's watching ya. He's watching what you doing. What you doing? Yeah, just went the little bridges right there, guys. Damn, bro. Antonio came back at the wrong moment. <laughs> I'm gonna send her a little taxi and see if she responds. As I'm sure you guys might have guessed, Yuli never gave Xavier a call or text back. I feel like she should have answered him like, hey, babe. Oh, yeah, what, what you up to? Oh yeah, I'm just up with a friend. What friend? A guy I met. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't. Okay, maybe sometimes you know you just don't want to do all of that because you know people. You have to be in person for you to explain the situation because over the phone people can just jump to conclusions. So she just ignored my ass. Huh? <laughs> she literally she looked at her phone. phone. Yeah, I saw, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. All these girls right here for the streets. Just out of curiosity, what do you think she would say if you walked up there right now? We're like, what's up? What are you doing here? She'll try to blow this off like it was nothing. That's what she's gonna do. Oh, if I if I confront her, oh, I just fool. We didn't do anything. I already know how she is because they really haven't done too much. Yeah. You know, she go, oh, it's just my friend. You know, I already know how she is. Surely we know what's going on. While Yuli never hit Xavier back, Antonio shot me a text. It was a little broken, but I think what he meant to say was, I can get her back to the apartment. She sounds down to go finish this today <laughs> yeah, i don't know confident huh? <laughs> so the original plan was for them today to eat just food then you want to just try to finish this whole thing today yeah on, honestly it, if she wants to do more with him after this like it, it's over like he wants to go back to another day go back to her house something like I'm, I'm done with her if you want to finish everything today otherwise we could stick to the game plan and uh, see if she shows up to a house or whatever i think we'll just get, out, get us out the way man. get it out the way yeah let's finish I, don't, today. I don't want to wait loyalty chest on your partner you will have to like face the consequences because it's not fair to do this test on your partner yeah they are supposed to reject you know reject them but you put them in this scenario you know you put if my partner were to set me up on this obviously i'll pass because i'll reject the person but why put me through a test you don't trust me because you're with me waste any more time on her and have to pretend like i still care about her you know she goes over it's a wrap you sure 100 percent positive let's wrap it up today Wait, we head out right now you think yeah that's what okay. i was thinking okay yeah man i'm 100 percent positive this is it then we are going no turning back now i guess so before making our way back to the apartment we handed our crew a small mic that they would hand off to antonio discreetly in the men's restroom we're at the hurry so we can beat him there i know we're gonna have to hurry we weren't terribly concerned with time because antonio could have just stall and keep us updated what had us more concerned were the cameras hidden mics and the live feed that we we had it set up. We weren't planning on shooting phase three today, so we weren't sure if everything was charged. But hey, things like this are unpredictable and we had to trust Antonio's judgment. She's gonna come over, she said that's, yes. That's what he said. I, I'm assuming that's what he means by that. My apartment is a go. <laughs> All right, that was good. I live like maybe like six, seven minutes from here. We can chill for a second, at least until you go to work. So you're gonna go all the way home. It's still early. Luckily, we were able to make it work with the equipment that we had. We let Antonio know where the cameras were pointing and what he had access to, which included a bottle of wine. And then we just got into position. Let me get your dough, let me get your dough. This is when it starts to really get real. Yeah. As of right now, Antonio hasn't really made his intentions clear. Here in this portion, Antonio's gonna ask her out. Hopefully when he's doing all that, she says, I got a man, I gotta stay loyal to him. We're yeah. in a committed relationship, man, so. It's the least you can do. I don't know any friends I'm going to the house and yeah. the house not really happening, wow. you know, so. Even if she passes, it's still definitely a conversation. That alone is already enough for me, you know. She, she's doing things behind my back. She's being dishonest. Yeah. yeah. Um, all, all things I can do. Oh, just texted me at the elevator. Okay, I think okay, we huh? should uh, get ready to listen in. I mean, honestly, the only way I would continue anything is if she le left right now, gave me a call, explained what she was mm. doing, and like, that's understandable. Ooh, all right. Switch to Chrome to stay in sync across devices.
Tony. Welcome, welcome, Mikase Sukasa. I don't know how to say it in Portuguese. I was gonna try to say it, but I ain't gonna try. I'm gonna mess up myself. Mikasa Sukasa. Gonna drink you good? I think we should do a little wine. We had some food, now we gotta like top it off with the wine. What you think? Okay, okay. Get you ready for work. <laughs> we should have put a camera in the kitchen. It's all good, it's all good. Do it by yourself? Yeah. What about you, a roommate? Yeah, I have. Oh, oh, oh. Don't mind that. <laughs> Alright. I wish. It's been a while. There's just no other reason for her to be here. She could have got the lunch, left home, and, and you know, enjoyed the rest right, of the Right, like day. he's not like, offering it. to do anything for her. He's not offering to like help her out with anything. The only reason she's here is because she's interested in him. No one's ever that friendly, you know? Right. No, no one's ever that friendly. You only do this for a reason. Like you're into the dude, you like the dude. You wanna sit over here real quick? We got the wine, we go have a seat real quick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. Come on, come on, have a seat for me. Antonio finally brings Yuli in perfect line of our cameras. Before making his move though, he spends a considerable amount of time just making small talk and browsing through Netflix. Oh, there's Elias. There's the rest of the team. That's my shit, the little kid with the oh, little horns. Yeah! That's my stuff. <laughs> what you know about sweet too? Hold on, I knew you was good people. I knew you was good people. Antonio and Yuli definitely seem to be getting along. Unfortunately, that's playing as you know he is very good at acting like he's interested like he would is he because he didn't he she he didn't say he has money or so or so or so Guys, I do apologize for that little moment. I just received the packet, so I just had to get that real quick. Apparently, the two genuinely seem to be making a connection. They clone Tyrone. You seen that? No. Now listen, let me tell you something. They clone Tyrone was lit. No, don't put on a movie, bro. <laughs> Get to the test. <laughs> Antonio was taking a little bit too much time, so I eventually texted him to just get to it. There was no denying it though. These two were vibing. Their body language said it all. I don't like that body language. Yeah, they're intimate. There's just a lot of space on that couch. She could easily move over. She could go sit on the other couch. She shouldn't have been here in the first place, you know? If I'm if I'm funny, that means you're having a good time, right? Yeah. So that means you're gonna call off work and we're gonna continue this, right? What? You mean tonight? Yeah. Yeah, you, you don't <laughs> You don't have to go to work like per se. You can get like a call off day. No, I can't. I can't do. I can't pull that off like right now. Now things were starting to get interesting. My boy Antonio wasn't just trying to make his move. He was trying to get her to call off work. Hold on. What 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 you usually? How much you make? How much you make at work tonight? No. How much you usually it's not make? About the money. How much you make tonight? No, it's not about the How money. How much you make? If you let me let me let me let's, let's see. If you make. $20 an hour, $25 an hour, we're gonna double that so we're gonna say you make 50 an hour. 50 times we're gonna say you you there for about what, six hours well, if you no, start at eight? It depends with the tips and everything, but it's not about the money. You it's about Look, the I want you to take this. No. So you can just chill. We're supposed to be here chilling, you know what I'm saying? We having a good time. I feel like we, like, we should just continue this. I feel like the vibe is right for us to chill, no? It's just one night. I ain't saying like, oh, come stay for like five, six days. Just, just tonight, one night. So I finished like around one-ish. Mm. I don't know if it's too late for you, and mm. if you want like meet out later. Yeah, you got me fucked up. Uh, yeah, she she into him. She trying to get you know down to it. She ain't. She, there's no thing of you know I have a boyfriend or you know nah I don't want you. She is 
she is definitely receiving that like she's taking it like she wants him unfortunately brody you'll have to break up i'm sorry he's single he's he's handsome you know that's cool you say you get it what what one like one say less Say less, then. And then what? You're gonna take me out? Or can you Uber me? Or like? Yeah, I can send you Uber. I can come scoop you. Listen, like I said, beautiful girls get what they want. So you say Antonio, come get me. I'm coming to get you. And it's not late for you, like one. I'm a night owl. Even if I was a night owl, if you ask me, I'm gonna be a night owl. So what you trying to do? What's up? Well, maybe I can come back. Like... See, I don't like that word. Maybe I don't like that word. Maybe <laughs> you got obligations. You think you think about your dude? Is that what kind of got you like going back and forth? Do you think y'all really that serious? Or y'all just kicking? Or what is like the real deal with y'all? Um, I don't know. I feel like I have ups and downs with that. Yeah. So you really, you know, you tell me if I'm wrong. I feel like you like the dude, but you feel like you want to keep your options open. That's what it sound like to me. That's just what, right? I'm, don't, look, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. I'm just trying to get a better understanding for me. Just so I know how, like, how we can kick it. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, yeah. So you good with staying here with me and we can kick it for the night? She's too comfortable with cheating. She she's a cheater. She is she's too comfortable for me for my liking. If I were in that situation and I go to the apartment, I'd be like, nah. I'm a boyfriend. I just need to chill. You know, you you helped me the other day, and I didn't just want to reject you and blow you off. Like at least the least I can do is like have lunch with you or something, and I'd pay for your lunch. For that matter. You know what I mean? But this girl, now she's a, she's a cheater. There's no two ways about it. She's a cheater. You're a cheater. Yeah, I'm done, man. I'm done with her. Fuck all that. Nah, she's talking about sleeping over. That's it. Yeah, that's it, dude. Yeah, nah, I'm good. At 1 a.m., I don't think it's no going home at no 1 a.m., right? <laughs> he wants. As long as you go with us laying We're together. Thank you, we grown. Thank you, we grown. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Damn. That's how she feels? Cheers to being grown. We gotta be cheers to being grown in this thing. Let's go. I'm literally right outside and she's having a whole nother relationship with this dude. Nah, man, this guy is too good at acting. He is too good. Like, I'm trying to commit. I'm about to come. She's just easy to fool, you know. She's just easy to entertain. Back over and fuck him. At least I have it be about the money, man. That she actually likes this dude. She, she just wants to come back and spend time with him. Oh, now you're hugging up on him? Yeah, yeah, no. Nah, yeah. yeah, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> Antonio could make a move right now, and I'm sure she'd oh, go yeah. for it. I already seen enough, man. If this were a real situation, bro, Antonio would have capitalized a long time ago, dude. She's doing this to herself. She put herself in that room. She put herself in the house. She didn't have to do any of this. She kept it going. She gave her the real number. She, she's here. She, yeah. She's doing everything. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Yeah. I trusted her, man. She seemed like a genuine, honest woman. You know, she's not from America. I was like, all right, cool. She's not, you know, westernized yet, but but I guess they're all the same everywhere we go. She's going to come fuck this dude, you know? She's going to come back. That, that's she, basically what that's, she's that's agreeing on. or saying that she wants to do. Like I said, if you test your woman, you're going to find out. You can't be testing your woman like that, you know? Especially if she's not about money. She's genuinely connecting with this guy. You know, she looks like she really, you know, but she's still a cheater, regardless. We're all grown, she cheers that we're grown. Like, yeah, you know, we know what grown-ups do when they're alone, sleeping over together, and this is not who I want to be with. And with that, Xavier decides to confront Yuli. Now, big props to Antonio. He definitely showed a lot of respect. What if she's gonna sleep on the couch? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? She's gonna sleep on the couch. Respect and restraint to not hook up with the homie's girl. This was one of those tests where if he wanted to, he could have. Fuck this bitch, she's for the streets. For she's for the streets, man. We, we're gonna send her right back where she came from. <laughs> the streets, not for the streets. The streets, the streets. Not gonna cause. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys thought about this test in the comments below. And I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know this shit's gonna be good. Oh, this thing. This particular thing. If you have an hour this week, you can learn a hundred- Nope, I don't have an hour. Guys, please don't skip my ad. Don't do what I'm doing here. You know, you just watch the end. What's going on? What the fuck?
What do you mean, what the fuck? What, what are you doing? What you, what you got going on? What do you mean, what the fuck? What do you mean, what do I mean? Look, look you're here with another dude? No. Don't go that. What, what are you looking scared for? What the fuck are you doing here? What, what am I doing here? People? What are you doing here? I'm just, I'm just having a conversation. You're just having a conversation with just, just a friend, huh? You know, I saw everything, right? You know, I've been saying, I've been knowing what's going on since the beginning. This entire thing was basically all just a test. Xavier wanted to find out if you were truly loyal to him or not. So that's why we had Antonio pretend to be into you, ask you on a date. The truth is though, like none of this was real. Antonio is not really into you. He was just doing all of this to help Xavier. Man. Or easy, easy not into her. Sometimes I feel like they feel the people are. Why would I do this? I, I expect I didn't expect it to go this way. I didn't do anything. Oh, you didn't do anything? No. Look, I've been seen from the day you got his number, from the day you went texting, from when you went out to go have lunch with him. Now you're back at his crib. I saw everything that went on. This is ridiculous. Oh, ridiculous that I believed you. I thought you were gonna be faithful. I thought you were gonna be loyal. I thought you were different. I didn't do anything. I walk in his his arm around you, and that's not nothing. You're talking about you're gonna come over later well, after you're work. Not It's, here. No, no, look, because I wanted to. You to talk to me if you have concerns. This probably, that you're not a freaking, a freaking man. Oh, I'm not a man. You're not a woman. You can't even stay low to your man. We have, we're, we're in a committed relationship. You're over here committing to coming back to sleep with it's another man? It's month, okay? Chill. Oh, that's how you feel. Mm. What if the roles were reversed? What if he was doing what you just did right now? Would you be upset? My God, a month in and he's already testing his girlfriend. I would not want a guy like that. You can't date me for a month and put me on a test. Maybe you want to know ahead of time before you get into a like a role. Maybe that just makes sense. But a month in, damn, give me the benefit. Like you said, give her the benefit. Give me the benefit. You can't be putting me through this test, this setup. A month into the relationship. Like hell, we have to sort of figure out whether this thing is real or not. Okay, maybe, you know, I keep saying that, but I keep contradicting. My thoughts contradict because I'm thinking, I want to know if she's a real one so I can pursue her on a serious. But a month in, it's too early, man. But she failed it. She's a cheater. That would you be mad? Uh, well, depends. Are you I'm not cheating on you. This is not yeah, cheating. Yeah, you're not cheating. Yeah, no, you're about I'm not to. not fucking anyone. Oh, yeah, you're about to fuck. Well, you're drinking. You're going to come over at one. He's... You did the best you could. I'm just trying to help my dog out here just figure out what's going on in his life because oh, I'm just trying to make sure he's good. Me. It's you could have said no. I'm just keeping it real. When I when I asked for the number, you could have easily been like, this I can't be touching other relationship, man. <laughs> what? That's look, why look. you're fucking single. Oh, that's why I'm single. I thought that's we were together. That's why you've been fucking single. Yes. I am gonna be single because someone like you, I want nothing to do with. You're tripping. Oh, you're breaking up with me. I'm bre yeah, it, I've been done. I just wanted to see how far you would go. I, didn't I want to make you look like a clown in front of everybody. Reacting. This is just an idea. Just overreacting. Yeah, look. That's fine. That's fine. What would, have happened, what would have happened if you would have came here later tonight at 1 a.m.? But I didn't. But what would have happened if you did? You I were don't planning know. on it. Nothing? We're done. I want nothing to do with you. That's ridiculous. Oh, it's You're ridiculous? Over this shit. Of course I'm dumping over this shit. What do you want me to do? Let you go sleep up with the other men? Man, you got, you got me fucked up. Oh, you deserve better. I deserve better. How about that? You're the one that's cheating. I was loyal to you. I gave you everything you wanted. Come on now. Exactly oh, what the I fuck I'm talking about. I can't believe you did this. We're done. It's unacceptable that you do Under this. Yeah, I'm glad it's unacceptable. Right We're done. I want nothing to do with you. You mean this nothing not to me. This is not fucking okay. This is not okay. Man. Oh, this is not okay? You're no. not okay. You're messed up in the head. You need to go sleep with all these other guys while you're in a relationship. You're the one that said you're in a committed relationship. You're saying you're one, you're running errands and you're over here about to sleep with another man. What's my person? Life, okay? Oh, look, we'll keep it personal because I want nothing to do with you. Nothing. We're done. Fuck you, man. Fuck, fuck me. You fuck, you. fuck you. Fuck you. Yes, yes, I'm Man, crazy. get the hell out of here. I am leaving. I am leaving. Oh, That's what I am oh. right now. <laughs> fuck, I didn't even have time to react to that. Are you good, Antonio? She threw that at you. You good? You sure? It hit me. I'm just a little like. Damn. Do I stay here right now? <laughs> <laughs> she really just threw that glass at me. And I didn't even do shit. I ain't cheat. Oh, my. Shoes! Oh no! Not the shoes! Oh, the shoes! Not the shoes! She gotta get you some new shoes. Yeah, no, yeah, we might have to sue her. She's bro, in a white shirt. <laughs> She's so cute. She was obviously aiming at you. Why'd she have to get me? A casualty of war, my <laughs> Casual. Casual. That's what you get for testing the woman. Exposing, exposing someone is not easy. You know, guys, there's a show called Cheaters. 
used to be a show called Cheaters. That was an amazing show. Like, I don't know if it's still ongoing, but I'm telling you, that show is crazy. They follow your partner for like seven days straight. And then you finally uh, get to approach them. And they always catch them in the, with the, you always catch them with the, like the person they are cheating on you with. And that is a crazy show. I'm thinking I could have reacted to that show, but that is sort of on a big, big, like that's, that's on TV and everything. So I can't really react to those because you will just get a copyright claim and they, they don't really reverse copyright claim. They just block. So I could have reacted to those because those are crazier. But guys, if you enjoy, oh, let's see if it's done. We just let's see a war. You could have said no. I'm just keeping it real. When I when I ask his arm around you, and that's not nothing you're talking about. You're gonna come over later after work. With, with him, now you're back at his crib. I saw everything that went on. This is ridiculous. They're, oh, ridiculous! I believed you. I thought you were gonna be faithful. I thought you were gonna be loyal. I thought you were different. I walk in his his arm around you, and that's not nothing you're talking about. You're gonna come over later after work. that video guys please give it a thumbs up please you know subscribe to my channel make sure you comment down below share your thoughts about the video if you don't um if you don't what should i say if you don't agree to with my opinions during the video you know you can we can discuss it in the comments i do respond because you know there's one or two comments but i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you're having a blessed day i hope you know um with subscribing to turn your post notifications so you don't miss an upload i have a music channel guys please you know um support my music channel i'm on also on spotify it's called reckless child um do so um yeah guys i enjoyed this video sadly she's a cheater but a month in i feel like you know she cheated before because she was too comfortable so she basically is just a cheater and she didn't really think it. I, I feel like when we start dating, right, a month in, you're supposed to take me serious. Who wants to be who wants to be getting into a situation where, okay, we are dating and it's a month in. And the person's m in the person's mind, that's not really serious. I never want to find myself in that situation. So guys, um, that's my opinion on it. Um, share yours down below in the comments i really enjoyed this so see you in the next video guys if you enjoy this type of videos make sure to subscribe to my channel please don't skip yet i appreciate you and see you next time i'm just looking for a thumbnail so if you wanna log up here you're good maybe this one Depends on YouTube anyway, just let them choose. Never mind. Have a nice day.